Hey guys, ModsLink here with another video. Today I wanted to show you how to root your OnePlus One. So in order to do this, you're obviously going to need your OnePlus One, your USB cable, and a computer that you can plug into. This phone here is dead, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out the battery. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that this phone here is special because it's able to have the battery swapped out whenever it needs a new one. There we go. If you want to know how to do this, check the links in the video's description and you will see a link there to the video on how to set this up and how to cut this. Then use a credit card or something to get the battery out. And this way you can easily swap batteries out. Put this back in and get started. As you can see here, the phone is updated to Cyanogen OS version 13.1.2, which is the latest one on this phone. And to get started, you need to go over to your settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll down to uh, build number, and tap this. Tap it about seven times and then go back. And now you will have the developer options here. Scroll down to where it says Android debugging. And this one here that says update cyanogen recovery, make sure you uncheck that one. Now you can go ahead and plug your phone in to your computer. Now over on your computer here, you will need to download the Bacon Root Toolkit, which will be linked down in the video's description. Get that installed. I've already got it installed here. Auto detect. It looks like that doesn't work. All right, so we'll go with a 64 any build, apply, and it says we need to download TWRP. TWRP is a custom recovery, so you can flash uh, zip files onto your phone, custom ROMs, antennas, etc. So go ahead and download everything, and this might take a while, so just be patient. All right, so it looks like we're ready. Here is the toolkit. Here is a live log. So you can use it for troubleshooting if you have any issues. So we'll go ahead and first off, do a full driver installation. And you'll want to read through this. Step three, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna go with the Google drivers. So you'll get this, go through the setup. You will get this, install it. And then you're done. You start the computer, configure ADB. So you go here, which will open your device manager window. You can go into your USB uh, serial bus devices, and you might see A0001, which is your OnePlus One, and then right click on it, update driver, browse to your computer, uh, let you pick from a list of devices, choose Android devices, choose ADB interface, and next, next, and then your Android device should be configured to use ADB. Then you need to configure it to use Fastboot. So after you've configured ADB, you can click on configure Fastboot, and there as you can see, the phone rebooted into Fastboot mode. If it didn't work, then you can, set, you can go through these steps to get it set up properly. If your phone rebooted into fast boot mode, then you're good to go. You can go to step four and do a full driver test and make sure everything is working properly. So while the phone is rebooting, this won't work. So wait till the phone is fully back up and running. All right, so there we go. The phone's back up and running. Now click OK to do a full driver test. This will check the ADB status. 
make sure the device is connected, reboot the device into bootloader mode. Then it'll check the fastboot status. It'll make sure the device is connected. It'll reboot the device and then it'll wait for it to reboot once again. And you can see everything that's going on over here in the log file. So there we go, the device is back up and running. And the device connected successfully. And it says success. So we're good to go. The drivers are installed properly. And now the first thing we need to do is if you have anything important on your uh, phone, you will probably want to do a backup first. So do that first. If you don't have anything important on the phone, we need to unlock the bootloader here. So click on unlock. And once again, make sure you have a backup if you need it. Otherwise, make sure that you don't have anything important on the phone because this will be completely wiped. So click OK when you're ready to proceed. And now you can either put the phone into fast boot mode manually by pressing and holding volume up and power or you can just press yes because we've already enabled USB debugging so this should work properly. So we'll go ahead and click yes. It'll check the ADB status. You might get a notification here on your phone asking you if it's okay for the computer to connect. If so, verify it. So this will check the fast boot status once again. Reboot the phone. And now it's unlocking the bootloader. Now it'll reboot the phone. And when it does this, it might take a little bit longer than usual for it to turn back on. So here you can see the phone is starting up and optimizing the applications. All right, so now that that's done, we can just skip through the setup. Now once we're here, we can go through the settings, about phone, and scroll down to the build number again. Notice that we're still on Cyanogen uh, OS version 13.1. So tap on the build number seven times, go back to the developer options, and enable Android debugging, and make sure you accept this notification if it pops up again, and you will want to uncheck the update cyanogen recovery, and now on the computer we can click OK here that script will finish running. Now we can go ahead and flash our phone back to a version that is compatible with this toolkit. So flash stock and unroot. Click OK and select the version that you want to install here. I'm going to go ahead and install this version since it's already downloaded on my computer. But you can use this other version, it doesn't matter. Click OK. It'll check for ADB status. It'll check the device is connected. It'll reboot the device into the bootloader mode. And here, make a backup if you have important stuff. Otherwise, just click OK. So click OK. This will come up on your screen. Now your device will reboot. Now it's downgraded to Cyanogen OS uh, 12 instead of 13. As you can see, it doesn't say mod ready anymore over here.
might take a while, as it says here on the screen, so just be patient. And here, once you reboot the phone, it will automatically detect the version that you downgraded to. You can click OK, and this will automatically switch the toolkit to use that version. You can click OK on this message. Alright, now once your phone is back up, once again just skip through this setup or you can legitimately set it up if you want to. Now once again, go to the settings, about phone, and now you'll notice your version is at Cyanogen OS 12.1. So go over to the build number again and tap it again. Go back to the developer options, uncheck this once again, and check the Android debugging. And always accept connections from your computer. Now over here you can click OK. And the toolkit should reboot back into the version that matches this phone here. So Cyanogen. OS 12.1 and now you can root it so select custom recovery here and root and this needs to be unlocked we already unlocked it before we downgraded it so click OK make sure the device is connected it'll reboot it and here it'll send over um, a recovery image and now it's sending the root files over to the device right here now it's going to reboot the phone back into ADB mode or fast boot mode it'll make sure it can get a good connection and then it'll run a script Now it'll flash the custom recovery, which is going to be TWRP. Now it'll boot into TWRP. And there you can see the device booted into TWRP. It's automatically running a script to install Super User and BusyBox, and then it'll reboot the phone. Once it's on, we need to update BusyBox. So we want to grant access here, and obviously we can see that we have super user access now, and then we can just click install. And it looks like we already have the latest version, and now we need to make sure we have super user, so we have super SU right here. And it looks like we already have the latest version of super user and if you ever wanted to restore the phone then you would just flash to stock and then do an OEM lock and this will completely default your phone so that is it for this video if you guys found it helpful or informative please remember to like comment favorite or share this video consider subscribing as well for future tutorials such as this one also consider checking out some of these sponsors down in the video's description as always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.